not sure what to do in the golf downswing, you've tried everything and nothing seems to work. You know in the golf downswing you're supposed to get that lower body weight moving first and then sequence everything from there but you're just not sure how to do it correctly. In this next video I'm going to show you two weight shift keys in the golf downswing to sequence it better and hit the goal the golf ball much more solid and much more consistent and lower your golf scores. I'll see you soon. Hey, it's Troy here from HittingItSolid.com. Thanks for visiting my channel. This is where I help you make the game of golf easy and help you hit the golf shots that you want to hit. Make sure you like this video and remember to subscribe to the channel. More subscribers I get helps me grow the channel and keep on producing videos like this so we can both keep on improving and playing better golf together. So I'll see you very shortly. Weight shift keys in the golf downswing. Now the downswing is absolutely critical in the game of golf, in fact, I see so many golfers that make a pretty good backswing only to really stuff it up in the downswing and it's easily the most difficult part of the golf swing for most golfers. So what are the weight shift keys and why are they so important? Well as we know with the golf swing, in particular the downswing, the lower half of the body really sets you up for a great golf swing and if you get the sequencing incorrect it can make it really difficult to play any sort of consistent and solid golf. So first thing I want to show you is what, where most golfers go wrong with this weight shift in the golf downswing. So if I'm setting up to a shot like this, where most golfers will go wrong is they might make a pretty good backswing, but in their downswing they get the, the sequencing incorrect with their weight shift and what they'll do is they'll come to the top, they might move their arms first, that's one thing they might do wrong, move their arms first, then try and move their lower body and that causes a lot of inconsistencies. The other thing they might do is, they might realize they need to get that weight shifted to their lead side, but in an effort to do that, they might just slide too much, like so, and that causes a lot of secondary access tilt, it leaves their lower body back here somewhere, then they have to use their hands and arms to, to time the rest of the golf shot. So those are two really common ones. And the other one would be not shifting their weight at all. And if um, this is something that you do, it might look something like this. You might get your weight over here to the right side and might leave your weight there and sort of do a swing, something like that. So the weight has shifted to one side, but hasn't shifted over to the other side. And that's where a lot of golfers go wrong. And another fairly common one as well that I see Again, you might be aware that the weight needs to shift from the right to the left. As you get to the top, the first thing you might do is move your weight from the front side of your body. And what I mean by that is, if I get here, is to push the weight sort of like that from the front half of my body. It's to really spin really quickly and push your weight over like that and that just gets you really unbalanced and really difficult to play any sort of consistent golf. So make sure you stick around just towards the next part of this video I'm going to show you a really simple drill that you can practice at home to really get the sequencing right and it's really one of the weight shift keys in the golf downswing and I'll quickly demonstrate exactly how you need to do it before we get into the drill. So. The first thing I mentioned before that most golfers go wrong is they shift the weight from the front. That means coming from here and just spinning straight away and pushing everything from the front side of your body onto that lead leg which gets you very unbalanced. So what we want to do, and this is what you see the really good golfers in the world do, but it's really hard to pick up on it at full speed. But if you see their swings in slow motion, you can see very clearly that they're doing this. As we go to the top, you can see here I've got my back to the target. First thing you want to do is do a little shift. It's only like a two inch movement with my, with my bums and my lower side here. You want to do a little shift, just about two inches there. And as soon as you do that, and it's just a matter of turning through and hitting the golf ball, it's such a small minute movement. 
it's so difficult often to pick up. But it's just a little two inch shift from the back, as I've got my back to the target, it's just a little shift like that. That's all it is, little shift. We're posting up on this lead side, just a little shift, posting up. And all we've got to do then is just drop our hands, rotate. This lead leg will get, get straightened up. And you can swing through from there. And that's really simply all it is, just a little two inch movement from the rear side of your body. As we get here, a little two inch move. That's shifting weight, that's all it is. It's, a, it's not a huge, it's, it's, not, it's not like this, not a big slide push, it's a little tiny little two inch move. And the rest of the swing follows through nicely from there. So in the next part of the video, I'm gonna show you a really simple drill you can practice at home to really ingrain this movement in your golf swing. So I'll see you soon. Okay, here's a really simple drill that will show you weight shift keys in the golf downswing. So all I'm gonna do is, all you need to do is grab a club. You can do this at home. You don't need to be hitting balls with this, but you can certainly work your way up to doing that. Grab a club, take our setup. What we're gonna do, swing to the top. Now you should have your back somewhere to the target in this position here. All you're gonna do here is do a little, a little two inch bump with your hips. I'm not gonna do anything with our hands or arms, a little two inch bump. And as we've got our weight pushing, you should be feel like you're pushing down on this lead side. And as we do that, we start rotating. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Should have a little bit of cupping on that right wrist, especially with the irons. Rotate the hands and arms. The body will be rotating, opening up. You should end up in a nice impact position like this, all stacked on that lead side. That left leg will straighten. And we're in a great impact position there. And this is a drill you can practice just to get the sequencing correct in the golf downswing. And I'll put another video up above that talks about sequencing in the golf downswing with a, a training aid that can really help you with that. So all we're doing here is we're going to the top, getting a little, little shift to the left, arms will drop, we rotate, we rotate. Very important all these hands are rotate. You'll see the, the logo of the golf club pointing towards the camera that will turn and end up facing the target and we're all stacked on this lead so left leg is straight we've got our weight shifted over we're in a great impact position and you can swing through like that and you can do slow motion drills like this to get the sequencing right will really help you shift shift little bump you can do this as little pump drill just doing a little shift let the hands and arms drop Straight in the impact there. I'll do one down towards the line of the camera just to give you another look at it. At the top here, see the little shift? Slow, 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 slow. Impact. You see that logo towards the camera? And through from there. And from down the line to give you another visual. Little hip bump. Drop the club. Impact. And follow through like that. That's a really simple drill you can practice at home. You can do it at the driving range. Once you've done it a number of times, start hitting golf balls, doing really short shots, and that will really help you out and get that weight ship moving in the golf downswing correctly. Pop a comment down below if you've had issues with the golf downswing but found a really effective drill that works for you. Maybe you've used this particular drill, but drop a comment down below. I'll reply to every single comment. There you have it. Now you know the weight shift keys in the golf downswing to really help you make a better golf swing and lower your golf scores. So hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you click that like button. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Now below this video, I'll have a link to my free video it's called Three Secret Moves. Make sure you click on that and get a copy of that. Also have another link to some further golf instruction. Make sure you check that out. It will really help you out with your golf game. Thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you next time.